I guess what, what I want to know is how, how do you know when you're in trouble? If you're I think that nobody quite knows uh, which drink it is that takes him over the edge of being merely a social or hearty laughing drinker into a morose and hungover wretched creature who shakes and creaks and sweats and has nightmares and it's always November and it's raining and it's three o'clock in the morning and and there's nowhere to go and you reach out for a cigarette and smoke and think of all the horrible things you've done in your life and all the shame you all the shames you've endured and suffered and the shame you gave other people and the, all the wrongs you've done other people I don't know whether alcoholics can put it quite as eloquently as that usually they they just say I just stared out of a window for two years I've given up on giving up and that's a miracle it's magic Teddy 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 Back on all your ex-lovers and all your friends There's no difference between affection and an addiction We are chemicals, fucking chemicals Teddy! I love superheroes, so here we are. I'm in fifth grade at sleepaway camp for the first and last time, and my family sends me Batman Night's End. <laughs> I do not get caught with the 39 other hydrocodones, the 36 oxycotons, the half ounce of marijuana, liquid codeine, and a lighter. You know, school supplies. And I get my first government-sponsored headshot. <laughs> In a moment of pure impulsivity, I've taken my first tab and a half of acid, or LSD, all by myself. Now, any of you familiar with uh, psychedelics might be thinking to yourself, oh no, and you're right, oh no. <laughs> what is it about vegans uh, astronomy and sobriety and not shutting the fuck up about it. I burned my future before I even get there. I melted my father. My brain can make believe all the worst outcomes of any given situation and make believe all the rumors and breakups and makeups and makeup fighting and breakup fighting and fucking and fuck fucking and makeup fucking fuck. I've lost track of the point. But who jacks what they call me and who knew I'm oh so charming? Life is too long, it's too boring, it's too embarrassing for it to be no magic. So I haven't found magic or a superpower, but I have found... A genetic disposition towards alcoholism. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. It is myself, I mean in whom I know all the particulars of vice so crafted that when they shall be opposed and distinguished black and So, here we are. I'm in Provincetown at my first AA meeting, and a drag queen named Dave says, Fuck God, shares my higher power, and it works for me. Holy rock bottom, Batman. Here we are. I open the big book. Well, the book called Alcoholics Anonymous and the one that Dave gave me. And I flip to a random page, and I read out loud, each person is like the actor who wants to run the whole show. <laughs> what usually happens, the show doesn't go off. So, how has having BPD affected your life? Would you say it has had an impact on your alcoholism or vice versa? Excuse me, what now? I'm sorry, did you not know? No, what now? You check all nine symptoms for borderline personality disorder. What the fuck is borderline personality disorder? <laughs> One, fear of abandonment. Two, 
unstable relationships. Three, unclear or shifting self-image. Four, impulsive, self-destructive behavior. Five, self-harm. Six, extreme emotional mood swings. Seven, chronic feelings of emptiness. Eight, explosive anger. And nine, feeling suspicious or out of touch with reality. <laughs> so what came first? The BPD, the alcoholism, or the teddy? It's hard to tell. As far as I know, alcohol was invented thousands of years ago, and men have only talked about feelings for three. <laughs> I paid a doctor to examine my head, so I listened to every word that he said. He had a bachelor's degree, a PhD, a beautiful wife, and three kids from what I could see in captivity in the city where I sat in a chair and I was in love, but totally unprepared. So it stuck to my skin as my upper lip bled and I spit out the truth that I tried to forget. His conclusion came out to be a prescription for antipsychotics for ADHD and depression. Little misled, you motherfucking cunt shit fucking motherfucker cunt fuck pussy pussy shit fuck cunt fuck you! Fuck you! So, here we are. We're in third floor D, Butler Hospital in a small room off of the main corridor, and uh, my family came to visit me, and we're fighting hard, because I want to leave bad to keep using, obviously. And the lines on my parents' face have grown deeper than nature intended. Their hair is prematurely gray. And in a fit of rage, I say, don't you think this could be your fault? And that's when I melted my dad. He doesn't melt like the wicked witch or like ice. He melts like his muscles are too tired to hang onto his bones. Like the light behind his eyes is smothered, leaving only unbreathable air and ash. He shows me his abandoned campfire soul. And he puts his hand onto, into my shoulder. And his eyes dissolve until they're level with mine. And he says, I think that every five minutes, Dear dear to my son, my son, the best friend, my son, 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 my son